it's Melissa and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking SAS sale haul. Nope, you guys are wrong this time. <laughs> I actually have my single wick candles and like my mini candles. Um, I'm going to do an updated collection video for you guys today. I might read some of the candle note, key notes on the candles, um, but I literally have like two boxes and four bags to get through um, and I'm not sure if my tablet will let me film that long. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in this. We're going to start with the mini candles first because I have the most of those I think. And no, this I just had to put them in something so I could hold them. Um, the first one I have is Somebody Bunny Loves You, and it's bubblegum, pink sugar cane, watermelon, and vanilla. And it looks like this. It's cute. It's glass. It's got a little lid. I kind of wish they weren't glass because it's going to be fun trying to put them all in. And then I got a flannel. Uh, the scent notes on this are bergamot, mahogany, wood, and crisp apple. Then I got a Let's Flamingo. Um, the scent notes on this are just watermelon lemonade. I think I'm going to just read the scent notes, like, or what the scent is supposed to be. This is Slay All Day. The scent is Holiday. Then I got Your Real Peach. And then this is... Uh, the scent notes on this are Georgia Peach. It's just the Georgia Peach one. Then this one is Frosted Cranberry. This was last, not this past winter, but the winter before. It was the single wick candles that they came out with, the minis. Um, then you had me at Aloe. And this one is Wild Sage and Aloe. It's cute. It doesn't have a lid though, which I'm kind of sad about because I like all my candles to have lids. Then I have another winter. Oh, then I have this one. I love this one. Caramel cinnamon swirl. It's like a little gingerbread in the box. I'm trying not to break these as I put them away. Um, then I have Bah Humbug in Mahogany Teakwood. Then I have You Donut. You do not, you do not know how much I love you. Um, this is in the scent of cinnamon sugar donut, which I love cinnamon sugar donut. I actually wanted to get the three wick candle of that when the new ones come on sale. Then I have fresh balsam. Then I have another flannel. Oops, flannel. So you can see flannel. Then I have Don't Get Your Tingle in a Tangle. And this one, I gotta remember what it is. I'm actually not sure which one this is. Let me look at the bottom of the candle. If it'll let me. It is Golden Peach Sparkle. So it's kind of like a similar to like the peach panini, but it's sparkly, so as far as the scent notes are. Um, then I have Son of a Nutcracker, which this scent note is, oh, pardon me. I have to free it from its box because I got like a ton of sticky stuff in here. Um, it's black tie, which I really like black tie. It's a good scent to burn. Um, then I have Lavender Macaroon. Then I have Boathouse Row. I think I have another Boathouse Row in here somewhere. Then I have Cinnamon Sugar Donut again. With this packaging. I like this packaging. It's cute. Then I have Marshmallow Fireside. Then I have, I'm having a meltdown. Then I have uh, T 
Tis the Season candle. Then I have a Cotton Candy Marshmallow, which has got the little check for Easter time. Then I have Be Bright, and this one is spi or picked or Spiced Honey Apple. I apparently can't read cursive today. Then I have Watermelon Lemonade again. Which, for some reason, I like the Watermelon Lemonade in the Tiny Single Wick Candle. I don't like it in the Three Wick Candle. I think it's just too much of a scent for me in the bigger scent. So that's like just perfect, the little one. Um, one of my favorite is Pumpkin Caramel Latte. I wish they would bring this back because it smells so good. And actually, I wish they would make it... Uh, this one. Wine is my spirit animal, which is uh, Black Cherry Merlot. Then I have Naughty or Nice in Vanilla Bean Noel. Oops, it's trying to fall out of its box. Then I have another Spiced Honey and Apple. And then the, I have an elf made me do it. Little box on the can. And then it's got little shoes. It's super cute. Um, let me open this and see if I can get you the scent notes of what, or at least the scent of what the candle's supposed to be. The scent of this candle is supposed to be peppermint marshmallow. I guess it smells like peppermint marshmallow. Then I have, I can't, I can't say I do without you. And that is blushing pink rose petals. Then I have naughty or nice in winter candy apple. Then I have my spirit animal is a unicorn. And then that's lavender macaroon again. Ooh, that smells good. The lavender is kind of strong in that one. Um, then I have another Happy Holidays, and this is Lavender Marshmallow. The little nutcracker on it in the box. I don't think there's anything on the candle per se. No, it just says Lavender Marshmallow, like in a little lavender colored writing. Then I have Be Mine, which is hot cocoa and cream, if I'm right. Yep, hot cocoa and cream. I love that scent. It smells so good. Then I have, I'm having a meltdown again. Um, and I can't remember what that scent is. It's like, I'm trying to pry it out of here. Those sticky stuff is like, oh, this is vanilla snowflake. Oh, that smells good. I forgot I even had mini of one of vanilla snowflake. I really do like it. Uh, make it rain. I'm not sure. Pardon my funny face I'm making. Uh, the scent notes are eucalyptus mint on this one. It almost reminds me of like one of the spa candles. So I think I'll burn this if I want to relax because it's kind of relaxing smelling. And then I have another boathouse row. Then I have a frosted cranberry. I like this one, but I like the um what's it called? Cran apple candle a lot better. But this one's still good. Then I got don't Another Don't Get Your Tingle in a Tangle, which I think is that pe sparkling peach. If I can free it, I'm getting kind of tired of fighting with boxes, so let's just take it out. Okay. Yeah, it's the Golden Sparkling Peach. I'm trying not to have these all fall down. It smells like a flannel candle. 
found a random lid in the bottom of my bag. Um, then I have another Slay All Day, which I think is like... Oh, what is this one? It's like spiced... I think it's like spiced apple toddy, but I'm not sure. No, it's holiday. And then I have two left in this bag. Another watermelon lemonade. And then XO, um, which is strawberry mimosa. Oh, I wish. They had strawberry mimosa this summer in this past summer in uh, Three Wick, but I passed on it and uh, didn't get it. And I waited until SAS to get the uh, cherry uh, pie candle or the sweet cherry pie candle. I love that candle. I, I kind of hope they bring that back. That's the bag of single wick candles um, of minis. I also have a box of them. I'll try to go a little faster with these, um, just to get through it. I have to hide my address on here. Um, this one is Winter Night. Then this one is Frosted Cupcake. I like these because they're plastic, so I don't have to be afraid if I drop them. This is Homemade Cookie. It smells really good. It's like whipped buttercream and per in pure cane sugar mixed with vanilla bean rich sweet cream. It just smells yummy. It's really nice to burn in the fall. Then I have oatmeal raisin, which actually smells like an oatmeal raisin cookie. It's really good. I'm just going to stack them on my counter. Then I have woodland berry, which looks like grapes. Then I have deck the halls. Then I have salt, uh, salty caramel. Oh, it smells so good. Then I have tis the season. Luckily I didn't buy tis the season. I almost bought tis the season in um, three wick. I'm kind of happy I only have the single wicks because that's like a really strong scent. Acorn fig. Then I have pumpkin patch with a little bat on it. Then I have cranberry cider. Ooh, that smells good. As you can tell, I'm smelling some of these because I haven't seen them in a while. I got another boathouse roll, which is almost done. I should just put it in my empties because it literally has like not much to burn. Then I have black tie again. Then I have spiced madeleine. I think it's. Ooh, that smells good. I forgot I had some of these. Uh, Winter Wonderland. Because the only time I used to buy these are literally when they had um, SAS sales. Because they're originally like $3.50 for these tiny things. And I was not about to pay $3.50 for them. And I think they raised the price to like $5. But don't quote me on that. I can't find a price tag. I can't remember. But then this one's another oatmeal raisin. Then I have a white barn, uh, number two chestnut and clove. Oh, I do have that. I kind of like that smell. I smelled it in a bigger candle and I didn't like it, but it's actually nice in the small little candle. My favorite candle of all time when I run out of these, I'm going to be super sad, which is Apple Crumble. I wish they would bring that back. I wish they would make it in body care, to be perfectly honest with you. If it came back smelling exactly like that candle, I would buy, like, tons of it in body care. Then I have Cranberry Woods. I'm making a little wall of candles. Then I have Dark Chocolate Mint, which kind of just smells like an Andy's Mint, if you ever had those. Uh, candied sugar plum. Oh, excuse me. That's just like a sweet smelling candle. Then I have another acorn fig. As I stack my collection. Then I have sm another spiced madeleine. Madeleine. 
Then I have a marshmallow peppermint. Ooh, that one smells really pepperminty. I think that's when they actually added more peppermint. Lost a candle in my sink. Then I have fresh pink picked cherries. This one I don't know why I got. I honestly think I just got it because it was on sale. Because I'm not a really, like, that's like a fake cherry smell. It's not like um, sweet cherry pie candle. That's so good. Um, marshmallow Fireside. Then I have Autumn, which smells so good in the mini candle. Then I have Hot Buttered Rum. I didn't even know I had one of these. I got it in the single wick, which you guys will see when I do that candle collection. Then I got Winter. Um, then I have Tropical Spice, which this one I'm going to just burn to get rid of. I don't actually really care for the scent anymore, um, but I don't want to throw any of these candles out. I'm not like, ooh, I don't like the scent. I'll throw it out, so I'll use it. Um, then I have Summer Berries, another one where I think I got it just to get it up because it was on sale because it has a real fake, almost like a grape Kool-Aid scent. So if you like grape Kool-Aid, you, I don't think they make this scent anymore because um, it's it's from like back in the day to make myself sound old. Um, but yeah, it smells like great Kool-Aid kind of. And then I have another jar of chocolate mint. I'm guessing I used to have like an obsession with chocolate mint. Then I have marshmallow fireside. And then I have mountain leaves. And then I have French caramel cake, which looks really good. I kind of want to eat one. Then I have uh, pink sangria. Ooh, that smells good. It smells kind of lemony. Um, then I have another mountain leaves. Oh, that smells good. It's kind of spicy. It smells yummy. Then I have a fresh balsam because you can never have too many pine tree scents. Then I have another um, fire, or marshmallow fireside. Then I have a spiced uh, cedar, or cider, I can't talk today. And it's just like got a little spider web on it. I don't think it has a spider, but that was like one of the Halloween scents that came out for the fall, back in the day. Then I got s'mores. I didn't know s'mores was like an older candle. I honestly thought it was like brand new, but I apparently bought some s'mores in the old packaging. Then I got caramel apple, which I'm actually excited I have one of these because I wasn't able to get a caramel apple three wick candle. Um, I kind of was going back and forth on whether I wanted it. Then I have another hot buttered rum. Then I have another pink sangria. Then I have the leaves. It looks like this. Then I have cranberry woods, which kind of smells like frosted cranberry, but it has um, like cedar wood and amber in it. So it makes it a little different. Then I have hot cocoa or hot chocolate. I think this is like their first attempt of hot cocoa and cream. Then I have passion flower. Ooh, that smells good. It's kind of getting funky. I think it's because I've had it so long. And like it sits on other wax. I'll have to burn that and see if it's still good. Then I have mountain leaves. And then last but not least, I have Calypso Sun. And that's all the mini candles I have. I'll hurry up and put all these away and then we'll start going through my single wick candles and go through those so you guys can see those and then I'm gonna probably film I know I said I was probably gonna film the three wick candles today too but I think I'm gonna film that tomorrow because 
I ended up laying down and taking a nap before filming for a little bit and um, slept longer than I thought. So I am getting a little behind on my other housework today that I'm supposed to be doing. So I figured I'll film the rest oh, tomorrow because also I can't put any more candles in this bathroom as I read this stuff off uh, because my floor is literally covered with them. Okay, so I put, I have three of in here that I bought earlier this season. I got peppermint brownie. We'll just stack them. And peppermint brownie, for of you that don't know, I think I'll read some of these scent notes, is candy canes and mocha and whipped uh, cream. It smells really good. Then I got spiced graham cracker, which is cinnamon, cardamom, and graham cracker. It smells really good. Then I got vanilla bean noel. The only thing I don't like about this tester candle is I don't like that they made the vanilla bean kind of like brown. It kind of is a gross color if you ask me. But hey, I'm not the one making the candles, so I'm not going to, you know, diss it too much, so... Then I have Spiced Apple Toddy in this candle. Then I got a Vanilla Bean, which smells really good. Then I have a Cinnamon Caramel Swirl, because you can't not have Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. Then I have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I'm going to run out of room. I'm gonna have a candle tower pretty soon. And then I have cinnamon spiced vanilla, and to me, this honestly smells kind of like, uh, like if you made homemade cinnamon rolls and then added like a lot of vanilla to your batter. That's what it smells like to me. Um, French baguette. I got this from my boyfriend, but we burned it, and it almost has like a sour bread smell. Not like a sour no bread. It just smells like sour, like bread that went bad. If that would be like possible, like not moldy, but like bad, like rancid milk bad. And then spiced gingerbread. Oh, I love that one. And I don't like gingerbread like to eat, but that smells so good. Then I got another spiced gingerbread because you can't just have one. I'm running out of room in my tower of candles. Then I got hot cocoa and cream. Then I got another hot cocoa and cream. Then I got toasted s'mores. Then I got iced cran apple, which I told you guys about. I love this one. I love this one so much more than I like the uh, frosted cranberry. And the scent notes on this are apple, cranberries, and raspberry. And like I've said in, I think, a previous video of mine, it reminds me of Yankee Candles. They had this uh, candle that came out within spring called Apple Blossom. It smells really similar to that. Then I have Pumpkin Donut Chop. Oh, I love that scent. It smells so yummy. I like it better in this, the single wick than I do in the three wick. The three wick, it's like way too strong. Then I have Mary Mimosa. Oh, that smells good. And that's that bag of single wicks that I have. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to start putting these on the floor because I'm running out of room. Then I have Marshmallow Fireside. Then I have Merry Mistletoe. I'm making a fort and hoping it stays standing. Pumpin, pumpkin pecan waffles. Then I have Cedar Lane, or it's not Cedar Lane, Cider Lane. I can't talk today. It's like a combination of, it's basically the caramel apple scent with a little brown sugar in it. That's basically what that is. Um, then I have Apple Garland, which I love this in uh, the Wallflower refills. It smells so good. But yet, I didn't buy any when I had the chance when they were $3. It 
Don't ask. Then I got Snow Mountain Lodge. I actually was on the fence on whether I liked this one or not. Um, so I'm kind of happy I was able to get score like one of the... I'm trying to figure out where I can stack them. Uh, the single wick instead of getting like the big one and not liking it. Then I have another iced crayon apple. If you hear a noise on the floor, it's my cat. He's trying to get in my boxes of um, candles that I have on the floor. I'm going to start switching them into other bags. And then I have caramel, uh, cinnamon caramel swirl, which is my favorite scent ever. If Bath and Body Works would turn this into body care, and it would smell exactly like this candle. I would buy like so much of it. It smells so good. So Bath and Body Works, if you're listening, please turn that into a uh, body care. Then I have a mahogany apple. Then I have an autumn woods. Then I have heirloom apple. Then I have apple garland again. Because why not? If you like a scent, you might as well get two candles. Then I have another flannel. Because it's like my favorite scent. One of them. Um, then I have a bigger a hot buttered rum. Then I have winter rose, which I'm still on the fence on if I like it or not. Because it kind of has that old lady rose smell. And not so much of like that pretty um, rose you get from like some of the rose care sprays, like the body care. Then I have sweater weather. And then I have hot cocoa and cream. If you can see that. There you go. It's kind of bright in here. And then I have salted caramel. And honestly, I like that the tester candles are all kind of, like, um, white colored, except for, like, a couple that have colors. I'm, like, dropping stuff or something made a noise. Okay, then I have another bag. I'm sorry, I know this video is going to be a little long. It's already going on, like, 27 minutes. I have vanilla bean. Then I have pink petal tea cake in the small one. I wanted it in three wick, but I smelled the new style packaging and I actually like it better in single wick. Oh, it's so good. I've never had this candle before, so I had to pick it up. Then I got another pink petal tea cake because I know I like saw it and I had to hoard it. Then I have another French baguette. Then I have a Seattle um, candle. And the scent notes are basically coffee house, which is like orange and coffee. So it's a lot like, um, it's basically the same scent as campfire uh, coffee. It's made with coffee and or essential um, orange oils. Then I have cinnamon spiced vanilla again. Then I have another pink petal tea cake. Then I have champagne toast. Which, I like champagne toast in this form. It's a lot sweeter and, um, it's a lot sweeter and then it has a different scent note. This one's bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine, and you smell the tangerine a lot more in the single wick. Then I smell a lot more booziness in the, um bigger one. Then here's another pink petal tea cake. And I think that is it. So that's those. Let me put some more candles in a bag so I have some more room. Now we have the box to go through. Which I'm trying to balance everything so I'm running out of room. Um, sorry for this video being a little scattered. Um, I'm just trying to make room and not break any of these in glass containers. I mean, if they do break, I'll turn them into wax melts, but I like them in the container, so. And then we have this box. I have a Calypso Sun. I have, oh 
my favorite, apple crumble. Like this one I don't even want to burn because there are they don't make this candle anymore. They make it in wallflower refills, but other than that, they don't make it in candle, which makes me really sad because I love it. Um, then they I have passion flower, which smells good. It's kind of foo foo-y, and I'm not a big foo-foo candle person, like as far as like flowery scents. I'm running out of room. <laughs> then I have uh, lilac blossom or lilac blooms which I like this scent because my grandma at our cottage uh, she planted some lilac bushes and I love in the summertime when you're out there and the lilacs are in bloom it smells so good then I have pink sangria then I have peach blanini then I have frosted cupcake I love Frosted Cupcake. Then I have Fresh Lemon. Which to me, Fresh Lemon honestly smells like Lemon Pledge. Um, nothing against it, but that's what it smells like to me. Then I have Fresh Balsam. Which I don't understand why I have so much balsam. Because honestly the smell is so strong. You don't need a lot of those candles. But apparently I was on a pine tree scent kick for a while there. Then I have cinnamon sugar donut in like this packaging. Oh, it smells so good. Love it. Then I have... A summer berries in the bigger one which I don't understand why I got that one to be perfectly honest with you because I don't like the scent now but I don't want to get rid of it then I have flower shop which smells super foo-foo flowery I might just burn that one or turn it into a wax melt because I really don't like the scent and I'd rather just have it in a wax melt and have it like sent to one of my rooms instead of like throughout the whole house. Then I have an autumn apple. Then I have a juicy nectarine. Then I have P.S. I Love You. I love that movie. Ooh, that smells good. I forgot how good that smells. Um, on these, they don't have scent notes. Because um, they're kind of older ones. So I think that was before they decided to put scent notes on their candles. Then I have mango cilantro. Which this candle, I'm going to probably turn into a wax melt because that cilantro in the candle makes it kind of smell like cat pee. So I don't really like that and I don't want to like burn it and make my house smell like cat pee. Um, cause it's just not an attractive smell. Then I have pomegranate lemonade. Then I have a cinnamon sugar donut in this packaging. Then I have another one of these flower shops. Then I have Juicy Nectarine. Then I have Market Peach. And then one last one I don't think I showed you guys. Which is Strawberry Patch, which smells really good. Mmm. It kind of smells like, they used to have like strawberry bubble gum and it kind of smells like that. That concludes all of my single wick minis and my single wick candles. I know this video is a little long, but um, I kind of figured it would because I have a lot of candles. Um, after I put these away, depending on how I feel, I may take out all of my three wick candles bring them into where I film, and then we'll film uh, that video. If you like my videos, please subscribe below. I know this one's kind of like hodgepodgey and I'm all over the place because I'm like trying to balance candles and stuff, but um, it's just because I have a lot of stuff in a tiny little space that I'm trying to film in. 
So if you like my videos, please subscribe below, click the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. And I hope everyone has a great night. Um, and, you know, be safe because I know in some parts of the country right now, the weather is like horrible. So everyone have a great day. Bye.